All right. Um, okay, so I, I have a question just because, you know, you are now splashed all over Netflix and, uh, and Xena is now having a huge revival. So what is it for you? What's it like to like meet all these new people? Because I mean, you were like the one we all waited to see during the conventions because you love to like get the mic and talk and tell all the stories. So what's it like with all the new people coming in? Well, I imagine it's fairly disappointing because I'm suddenly 20 years older, like in a second. They want me to look like this, but <laughs> other than that, I think it's great. Um, it has been really crazy, actually, to see the amount of people that have found Xena during the pandemic and since then. Like, it just, it's taken on a life of its own. Um, in November, when I was at the Xena convention, I mean, I would say at least 40% of the audience, it was their first convention. A lot of people, when we were taking photos, would say that they had only started the series within the last year. Uh, yeah, like, amazing. <laughs> so, um Never would I have predicted that because it just, it didn't seem possible that something could find a second life like that. But it, it really seems to have found a whole new generation of fans. And I love it. I love the fact that somehow, somehow she says questioningly, it's still re relevant, <laughs> but certainly okay. it's still fun to watch. <laughs> well, so that brings me to like, um, all these new people, they've never experienced you. So you're, so on your charity thing, you're giving away, um, these interactive, like conversations and two hours of your time and everything. Like they're going to figure out how like silly and crazy and fun you can be. Um, when they start to get you on these calls, two hours is going to fly by. So, um, like, that is how, actually tell us a little bit about it. Um, <laughs> you have hit the nail on the head. Um, I think a lot of people are nervous just because two hours can seem like a lot of time and they certainly don't have to use the full two hours, but they are welcome to. But what I have found is that if I don't pay attention to the time, it'll be three hours later and we are still gabbing because I love people and I love to get to know people. I'm happy to answer questions. Like I'm not one of those uh, actors that is like, oh, I only talk about my current projects. Like, no. <laughs> whatever you want to talk about, I will talk about and have a great time because I just believe in having a great time all the time. So, you know, it's been fun. It has been. And I just have to say this because, you know, shame on me for not realizing this. But the truth is the fan experience has been sort of one sided for my whole lifetime where the fans know about me, but I don't know about them because I don't have the opportunity to. Our Our interactions are so fast. But with these meet and greets, it has been incredible to get to know some of the Zenites really deeply. And just, can I say what an effing cool group this is and so incredibly accomplished. I mean, I've been speaking with professors and scientists and, you know, explorers, people that are just having the coolest lives and getting to actually know about them and hear about them and get into detail. I mean, inevitably I'm the least cool person in the meeting and I'm fine with that. <laughs> and you know, they are generous enough to care about my career. And so we can chat about that as much as you want. 